Breaking news from East Memphis, where a pair of crashes have shut down 240 near Poplar for the second time in just over a week. Five o'clock is your time. Police and firefighters have already been on the scene for hours now. WRNG's Jarita Patterson joining us there live. Jarita, we know at least one of those vehicles caught fire. From the video that I've seen, it does not look like a very good scene. Yeah, this was a fiery crash. It is a mess out here, folks. So you need to be mindful if this is part of your morning commute, Interstate 240. We're going to try our best to try and show you how things look as we uh, currently. You're going to see those flashing blue lights. The yellow crime scene tape is actually stretched across a portion of this interstate, and drivers are actually having to merge into just one lane in order to navigate their way around. Folks, we're still working to find out the condition of those who were in the car in involved or cars, I should say, involved. Firefighters, we can tell you, say two people were rushed to the hospital, but it is unclear which accident they were involved in. Two cars collided, catching fire just south of Poplar, and some more vehicles were involved in an accident just north of the overpass. This is something Zanetta just mentioned. If this area sounds familiar, you may recall we were just out here last Monday after a deadly collision blocked the same stretch of interstate. Again, Interstate 240 right by the 15A B exit. Police did arrest one driver involved in that collision. But this morning, we are still working aggressively, you know, to get answers on this latest crash. I can tell you the eastbound lanes of 240 are blocked, and it looks like it could stay that way for quite some time. If we're not already, let's go ahead and take another live look out here so you can see, again, a lot of confusion by drivers as police are still here on the scene. We saw several vehicles on the side of the interstate. There's also a big rig that has pulled over, but it doesn't look like that big rig is, is involved. However, I can tell you, again, drivers are confused on which way to go because they have a lot of emergency responders out here. We're staying in close contact, of course, with those involved with this investigation. We'll certainly bring you even more information as it becomes available. We're live this morning, very close to Interstate 240. Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3.